Hello friends, welcome to my giant vision from Annalise's mixed media everything um, Facebook group and um, today I'm doing this 8x10 panel board um, it's actually a canvas panel and I'm doing some gesso on here right now and I'm putting some pieces of magazine papers <coughs> on there and kind of pulling them off and leaving inks and writings and whatnot that's on the other side. So it's kind of like a gesso transfer type of thing that I'm playing with here. And I just thought I'd play with it as my first layer. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. That was that. So I do a few more tries and different um, pieces here and even try wetting the back to get the paper to loosen up some of the ink more. I haven't really played with this process too much. I was just kind of trying it out, seeing how I like it. And I think I'll play with that and more in the future. So yeah, that's just something I was just kind of playing with. And uh, I quite enjoy actually. I think it's kind of uh, a neat way to transfer images, not clear and uh, yeah gives it a unique look. So I try a few more of these and and putting them on and um, I really like that the process. I think also I did the gorilla head too on there. It didn't come through the way I wanted to come through. Uh, I think I'd have to play with the process more and see how it's done. I'm um, just playing around with it. But it's my first time trying this kind of gesso transfer I believe so um, it was fun. Um, this year, my 2018, this is my first installment of My Giant Life, and I'm going to be doing them on these panels, and um, I think this year, this is kind of like my vision board, and this year, it's not like a, like a bunch of things listed, but ideas as I was painting, I was thinking them through, how I want to be more creative, how I want to be more whimsical in my art, um, not worry about things, not worry about covering things up, not worry about the process so much not rushing through it to get it done um, you know that kind of thing and enjoying the process each step even if I'm going to totally cover it not feel any resentment or guilt that I covered something I liked and just play with it so these pieces are just going to be fun whimsical played with and hey even at the end here I might not you never know I might add more I might add more to her um, in time so it's always could be a process. Here I'm using a tea bag and I want texture down. Um, so I'm just taking the staple out. <laughs> Didn't know that bar out. Oh boy, oh boy. And I split it in half, open it up, gesso that down as well. So I pretty much used gesso to hear almost um, all the, the you know pieces that I want to add in there, except for there is a magazine piece that I did um mod podge down. Um, but I love using tea bags in my art and it was really nice texture and with the gesso, a little bit of gesso on top it was really nice. I like that. I'm not sure if I have used gesso as adhesive before. I'm going to put a piece of paper from an envelope with Canada on it on there in a second. Um, I can't recall but I was enjoying the process and I just didn't want to um, go back and forth with the glue or, in, or that so and I like the fact that I was kind of clouding up all the things that I had put on there with that gesso so I liked it I'm gonna get be getting into some stamping here I'm using this stamp from Michaels and just it's not clearly it's not the greatest um, image to stamp out <laughs> it's big and uh, but I get partial pieces in there and I don't mind that and for this one particular action it's what I kind of want more of is just little bits and pieces showing because this is kind of going to be my collage that one's a crow a kind of a collage work for sure with uh, media as mixed uh, the media as the pieces of the collage here I have homemade stencils as flowers and I'm using them. I'm going to use my tattered angels in yellow, red, and blue to get some color in there. <clears throat> so I'm using different products together and really having fun with it and being as whimsical as I can and as fun and free 
as I can. So I'm just throwing them in between the magazine so the magazine can soak up that. They don't have to worry about cleaning them or getting my wherever I'm putting them down on full of paint or whatnot. <coughs> um, after this I think I throw in some more gesso just to pull back some of that color. And I think that's something you're going to see a lot of me going back and forth. <laughs> do, I, do I like all this color? Do I not? What happens if I do this? And that's what I'm doing. I'm just being very playful with it. I really like those flowers in the background. Of course they get covered up, but it's really fun. Um, in a second here you're going to see that I'm putting paint on and that kind of thing and I'm, you're going to miss some of my process because I thought I was recording. But here I'm just adding some red and yellow, um, the red hue and primary yellow and that is a deco art product that's in the tube. It's called premium um, acrylic paint and I'm using that right now. Just putting some colors in just going with the flow, using an old brush so I could just scrub it on and not worry about wrecking my paintbrush and pushing it in there and really getting into the canvas. Then I grab this flower stencil and I grab my gesso again and I'm pulling back some of that color <coughs> and scooping out a little gesso in my card there and I'm just going to do the, the petals in gesso. doing another way like this is I'm pulling back the colors but I'm using a stencil rather than just scraping paint across with a brush or a card at this point so sometimes you can just pull back and use a stencil and pull knock, to, knock back some of those colors that you're finding too bright <clears throat> So I'm going to put a link here, <coughs> excuse me, um, for how I made these stencils. And then you guys can see that process and make your own if you'd like. Um, stencils can be ex expensive and particularly the flowers and these big flowers. I don't have too many big flower stencils and I like that. This is where I was telling you I missed a bit. So I had the stencils showing you, oops, I wasn't recording. I um, just used paintbrush to go around those petals for the black and I did my circles and raindrops sort of shape with my stencils and finger painting. Here I'm using my tattered angels in the blue just to get some of that shadowing of that one. <coughs> and like I said, just layers of different products and it's like a collage. Here I am putting my words down. My words are create your um, vision and that is what um, the My Giant Life is all about for this January. Just thinking about your vision and what you want to do for the year. And like I said earlier, I think I said it, I wanted to be more creative and more loose in my work and enjoy it and not rush it and that kind of thing. I'm using the gesso once again to hear the words, the sentiments, and uh, wiping away a little bit on there just so I can see them. The, the words. <clears throat> Painting some black paint around there, just making some lines. Um, I'm going to go in with my white gesso again to go around the um, rain, yellow raindrops and the uh, red um, circles that I painted there. I'm also going to paint in some of these uh, petals, as you can see, so make them pop out more white. <clears throat> And at this point, I feel like I think it's getting a little too bright again. We'll see if we can knock it back by just brightening up some of that white. Adding more white even just around these things here and seeing if I could just pull, push back some of that bright, bright colors. I had lots of fun with these processes and I was really not worried about <coughs> what I was covering up, how much it was shown. Um, I really just enjoyed the process and it was fun.
It's a quite took some time to do this video. I think it was a couple hours. Um, I sped it through <clears throat> um, quite a few times here to get it so I can actually do a voiceover one and tell you all the steps and that I went through for this process. And um, yeah, that video would have been a killer. <laughs> I'm doing white gesso round now, and I'm I'm liking that. It's making those words pop a bit more. <clears throat> And I'm dotting some of the borders. Um, not, oh, I don't think I did all of them, but I'm just dotting at least some of them. Just playing with it. And right now, this is kind of like my meditation time. I'm painting. I'm enjoying everything. And that's what this process is about. I think i got to start enjoying. Not that I don't enjoy my art, but i got to be more loose and enjoy each step a little bit more and not rush them through. Here I have cards dipping it in my gesso and just putting a few dabs of that. No, this was a fun part. Um, I was doing some runes and I was doing them upright and um, upside down and kind of doing the yin and the yang type of thing is as I say when they're upside down they mean the opposite of when they're right set up and so uh, say this, you know, good fortune. Well, you can also lose some fortune. You know, you lose something. So, I'm just kind of being um, as equal as possible and putting them back and forth. I had fun with this process. This was um, the blue paint from a Americana, and I was just kind of like, I don't know what I want to do, and I knew I didn't want to do black, so I just threw the blue in there and did these runes in there just because that's what was on my mind um, and been thinking about that stuff lately and looking into the history of the Northmen and uh, that was something I've been interested in I have a book on uh, on these runes I got a couple actually and yeah so I was enjoying that that was kind of something that's going on in my life that I'm looking up or doing and it's kind of just ended up in my work which is really cool although I believe very shortly you're gonna go what because I cover it up <laughs> I do I cover it up but the process was good I even put a little blue around my words too process was fun So here I have a cutout magazine girl. Now I'm using um, like a just or a Mod Podge type of thing, and uh, getting her down. I'm trying to get the air bubbles, so it takes a little while for me to get her down in there. I don't want it to be all bubbly um, as much as possible, but I liked her image. I loved the shirt and it just reminded me of an old um, band shirt I had. This one doesn't have a band on it obviously but I had one with like Guns N' Roses on it so I was like I love this shirt. It gave me those memories of being a youth with my shirt. So I got some yellow paint so I'm kind of thinking how do I want to do her hair. I want her hair to pop out so I'm doing gesso and then I'm going to do a bit of yellow on top of it. Very painterly and leaving the lines in there and um, enjoying that pop, kind of pop art look. I also do her lips, her cheeks, her eye makeup, blue eyes and sorry my phone's making noise. And then um, I just do like a thick medium, heavy gel medium all over her to make her look like she's painted in there to have the nice br br stroke, brush strokes. You can't really see it on the video but you can see it in person so it's great. <clears throat> so I got her cheeks in there mixed a little white and yellow, uh, white and yellow, oh wow, <laughs> white and red and yeah just had some fun with that. Here I'm just putting that heavy medium all over and just really want the brush strokes to look crazy. Another way of just adding some texture. You can see that I'm going right over her and it's just clear so it's great. I leave the white part of her shirt so I can ink that up. But I do her face and her skin. So her face and her arms and her hair. Then I go back on that um, lady thing. 
a mask of spots I don't want ink on there and then I just do her shirt and there we go I ended up throwing that all over the canvas and just masking where I didn't want stuff I found that I was getting a little dark though with some of the inking so I kind of had to like look at it and be like this is crazy I was getting busy too busy um, there's a good kind of um, messy art look that you're enjoying and then there's a crazy this is just too much so I was starting to feel like this is way too much crazy I enjoyed every piece that I've done there and all the processes but I'm like this is getting covered up so I did equal amounts of the heavy body and gesso or I mean sorry and white paint and I just scraped it on with my card across the whole thing I avoided my my words and I avoided avoided my girl and I covered it up all that layers but yeah I did and I enjoyed it it was really nice I really liked the things that peeked through and I did not regret it because even though I said oh I love doing the ruins and that and you can't see them in there it was so fun doing it so I think it was my first time painting ruins and it's nothing major but it was fun so I enjoyed that now I'm just trying to get just the the writing in there so that I was stamping with that doing some loop-de-loos on my squares there where my words are um, and I love that so I'm playing with that and I even doodle on some of them with my paint doodle type of thing I do cross hatching um, I do one that looks like a cow black and white spots and do one with spots too so kind of played with that added color to a couple of them so yeah oh yeah there we go wiping off my paintbrush on my canvas that was fun I was just like yeah what am I going to do with this paint I don't want to rinse it off I'm going to use it on the canvas that was kind of neat and I did the same with my yellow too yep it was neat putting some little elastics in her hair I eventually put some little flower black flowers on there I don't know if I got it on the video I think it's right right at the end now I'm doing my again my circles but I'm using my brush just to get the last of that paint that's on there that's not dry yet I want to use it up throw that on there and use up um, my paint my yellow paint that I have out see I go back and forth taking color away putting more on but it's a great process it was fun uh, oh, there we go doing some loopy loose little ones in the bottom scalp edges or whatever you would like to call there's my painting doodles um, I also decided to do some circles around the uh, the yellow and the orangey um, spots there that I painted on this with a stencil finger painted with that stencil so that was really neat I like that I just like <laughs> Mm. Oh, s no, 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 no. I really like the process. <clears throat> and sorry about the dogs, guys. Oh, I, I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it. Hopefully you guys understand. Um, I had to do a bit voiceover quite a few times now. The dogs were fighting and stuff, so. Oh, boy. So I thought I was done. And then I'm like, did I miss something here? <laughs> I thought I was done. And then, um, what am I saying? Decide to add some turquoise. There is what I was saying. And uh, yeah, so I grab my old brush again and I just kind of scrub a little tur turquoise here and there and uh, pull it in. Keep pulling it in. I really liked it. Oh yeah, with my um, stamped, I put a little bit of red paint on uh, on there, and I was stamping a little bit of that script that was on there with red. 
Um, so that's what I was doing before that. And I washed the paint off so that I didn't get it stuck in my my uh, stamp. But I really enjoyed that color. And there, there it is that I'm actually putting the flowers on. Yay, I did get there. And I got a few around the canvas as well. And I enjoyed that. So. And that is my crazy, crazy um, canvas today. Hope you guys like this and check out all the other artists who are doing this, um, participating in showing you guys what they have come up with with the uh, the prompts that they made. Um, it was really fun doing the prompt and. Uh, people are walking around you probably hear footsteps <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed the process and this is my January board and um, 8 by 10 and yeah there we go it's a picture and I'm gonna be more creative this year that's my goal so set your goals thanks for watching everyone bye mm.